10 blinds, you grip, rip, and hope that maybe you get the fold. Here we go. Yep, there you go. All in. Oh. And Lewis Spencer, Ace five. five in the big blind. Oh. Probably just a spot you, you feel obligated. You have to call with just Ace seven, high. Seven, yeah. There's a call. Jack 10 versus Ace five. Oh. Bit of a race. Obviously, Spencer ahead. Ace five. Covering has an ace. Brian Rass, tournament life on the line with Jack-10. Needs to catch. Now you can see just about a coin flip. 55% favored for the ace-5. Here we go. That is a favorable flop for Spencer, who's got a pair of fives along with backdoor heart draw. Rash looking for a jack or a 10. Ugly turn card, and now Rast, his outs cut. Only four outs, needs a jack or a 10, and it can't be a heart. Eight of spades, and that is the last card for right. Brian Rast tournament. Just an amazing player, and as you mentioned, I certainly think uh, an eventual Hall of Famer. Yep. Listen, I've farmer, got clothes for that. Farmer Tuck. I mean, just, <laughs> we got a big one here. We do. Bernaro, the Funkster, uh, he's raising it up out of the small blind. And this is always, you know, blind on blinds. Elias just calling. Oh, wow. And he hits. Way better. Pull and uh, we're going to get them all in. All in. There's a call. 8.45 million in the pot. That's a good point. Elias about a three to one yes. favorite to win it. Excuse me. Sorry. Elias sorry, not sorry, sorry. wanting two pair right now. And the, some of the players just running to the bathroom. That doesn't seem like a good choice, actually. I was thinking Darren Elias, four WPT titles. 30 seconds to let them try to get back, but they are probably still looking for his first here. At the World Series of Poker, and he is all in at risk 27% of the time. He'll be punching his exit ticket. just said we can organize letting people go from under the gun. Yeah, I'm not. just lucky to walk in. Oh, wow. It's really bad. Neither play with a heart in their really hand. Hearts are irrelevant. Bonaro looking for a king or an ace One on the river. Takes off running and suddenly it seems like a good idea. Three of clubs. Okay. And the chips continue to fly. Bonaro back down to under four million. And uh, Darren Elias up to 8.45 million. Shortest stack. You're trying to get yourself involved, able to accumulate, and right now he is in dire straits. Oh, and an interesting flop. Fanaro has a straight draw. All in. There's the all in. Spencer's not going anywhere. And that's what one of the cards you certainly didn't want to see. We only have two aces. Fanaro looking for a six or an ace or running cards. Just six outs. For the Funkster, Frankie Funk. See Espen, the reigning World Series of Poker main event champion watching on. You need the three of diamonds. That would be a good call. It is a three and it is an awful card for Frank who now is drawing Dead to just the six. Oh, Pro move, putting your chips in there, right? It is. Should have stood up, though. He didn't stand up, and it's not a six. Nine of clubs. He's going to stand up now. Well, Donald's got to decide, do I want to put my last 19 big blinds in? And he does. King Jack versus Ace Queen. O'Donnell at risk. Ace Queen, King Jack. O'Donnell, a two to one favorite, but Spencer's got live cards. 
We we want King Jack. We want I just King I just ripped yeah. off. Like we went all in with King Jack and he got called back. <laughs> yeah, Woodway. So the chip leader has King Jack. Cool. Yeah, Roman says we want King Jack. Crazy how I want to ladder up. Yeah, the, 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 the you can't blame him, right? I mean, all this money <laughs> on the line. It's yeah, worth a hundred and I'll call it a hundred and forty-five thousand. The ace queen is the one who's at risk. What was this? At? And uh, Ace Queen does not want to make two pair right now. Spencer with a gut shot to Broadway. O'Donnell with top pair. Hard to chop. Oh, look at the size of this pot. Yeah, pretty hard to chop. I think King. I got Jack. Two Queen South still. O'Donnell doesn't want to hit a Queen. Two of them. Mama. That is not a queen. And the roar, the roar from the Ryan O'Donnell crowd, worth mentioning. Ryan O'Donnell you know. came into this final table as our uh, short stack. Uh, oh my God. Well, this will save O'Donnell, but Harabex has committed himself. Saves me having a decision. Yep. O'Donnell, no decision. There's the call. And it's ace jack versus kings, and we know one ace is dead. Darren versus What a spot for Darren Elias. You can say that again. He is looking to hold here. This moment means everything to Elias. He can separate himself from the pack. 13 million now in the middle. Oh my god. They give you a bit Oh, Monica holding on to our man. Trying to will an ace there. Well, we got a jack and we got a club. Okay. There's a sweat. <laughs> All right, All right. Come on. Come on, on time. Climb of diamonds, no help. Monica, Roman, looking for an ace or a jack where he is out in fifth. Please. Come on. Oh, uh, no. Did you did. Okay. 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 Wow. And Haxton decides to raise. It is not all in. Maybe this buys him a street if he goes unimproved on the turn. We get to a free river. Right now, he has to believe he has the second best hand. Oh, he doesn't have the second best hand anymore. What a turn card. Ike drills the turn. Yeah, we'll see the outs once the money goes in. Oh, Haxton wow. checks it back. The river, the jack of hearts. There's 4.8 million in there. Haxton with just 3.28, so an SPR, a stack to pot ratio, far less than one. And I'm just sitting here scratching my head, taking notes. What Ike Haxton has done here, puts the raise in on the flop, checks back the turn with Kings up. Sort of trying to guarantee that more money goes in on the river. Spencer. Trying to be balanced this time as well as he uses those uh, time chips. And he's just in jail. He has no reason to believe Ace Queen isn't the best hand. There's the bet. There's the call. Oh. Uh, it's 3.275. And they're going to count it out at Haxton when it's all said and done. It'll be up to 11.4 million. Spencer down to 1.43. All in? Players all in. Whoa. Call. And it sounds like call. So, Darren Elias cannot put in another raise. That changes everything. One of them options on. <laughs> yeah, I should have gotten in this too. <laughs> so it is. 
Spencer's tournament on the uh, on the ropes here. Queen five four. The spot, didn't it? We go to break. Stick around because yeah. you yeah. know we're in for a show. Let's see what Darren does with these two tents. Two point seven in the middle. We feel we have the best hand quite often. Even if we're up against the queen, they're never going to check race. Or, yeah, I was going to say, is it worth worth just a little bit of uh, a little sprinkle? Yeah, equity denial. Yeah. He agrees. Yeah, not a very good flop for Haxton. He does let it go. The cards will go. We're going to flip them over, and it's tens versus king nine. Spencer, just 17% equity. Looking for a king. I feel good about the amount of money I put in that pot. <laughs> I'll take me in this life. No. I had um, had a fate. Well, got a bit of a sweat there. You saw Spencer's out at the top of your screen. He went from uh, three kings to three kings plus all those hearts. Nine o'clock. Eleven outs, one card to come. That is not one of them, though. Jack of Diamonds on the river. No. <sighs> And Lewis Spencer out in fourth. Is, He'll take home $511,000 for his efforts. All in. And there it is. You're not raising the fold sevens, are you? I don't think so. We probably need to count. A moment to gather ourselves. It's 11-4. Is that what it is? 11125000 Good call. Good luck, guys. 11 wow. It's right out of the gate. Hey, check in sevens. This is the first hand back from break. The first hand three-handed, and it's sevens versus ace jack. And uh, we could be heads up in five cards. We certainly could, or we may have a new chip leader by the name of Isaac Haxton. Let's toss a coin and find out. Uh, the biggest pot we have seen so far, 23 million chips in there. And there's a jack and an ace, three hearts, neither player with a heart in their hand. Elias down to two outs. And one card. Five of diamonds on the river, and we do have a new chip leader. It is... The original chip leader, Isaac Haxton, came in with the chip lead. It's been a roller coaster ride. But 50 hands in, he is back in the chip lead, and now he has more than 50% of the chips in play. Yeah, they essentially just swapped positions. Haxton and Elias. The back and forth continues. What? Yeah, exactly. What? How, how does this happen? I mean, this hand, mere mortals. It's just a raise, it's an all-in, and the hand is over. But Haxton puts a small three-bet out there. Elias makes the call, and then we get this. We get a pair and a flush draw, a nut flush draw, mind you, against top pair, top kicker. Absolutely ridiculous texture. 1.5. The money just seemingly has to go in. How distracting is that? I mean, you're playing for millions of dollars at this point, right? And there's chanting going on in the background. Is that tough? I don't know if these guys even really recognize it. They're so in the moment right here, locked in under the bright lights with the cameras rolling, playing for all the glory. Darren Elias started the hand with 8.3 million chips. He's got 6.25. He makes the call. Oh, this is awkward. Pot is just under 8 million. Elias only has 4.75 behind. Jack of clubs on the turn. I mean, if Haxton moves all in, can Elias get away from it? I don't see a world in which he should. He's put half his chips in already. Maybe he's hoping it goes check out of Ike and we can just jam and get it through, but it seems unlikely. This is awkward. I do not recommend it at home. 
2.3. 2.3? I mean... I mean, when Haxton bets 2.3 into 8, and Elias only has 4.75, there's the all-in from Elias. Call. Haxton makes the call. He's king. Elias is down to his last card. We could be heads up. His pot's got 17 and a half million chips in there. Elias needs a six or a heart. The outs are on the top of your screen. Oh, oh, oh! Fifty-two fifty. Wow! Whoa! All in. Oh, there's the all in. Oh. Elias does make the call. It's Ace Jack versus King Jack. Oh, wow. Haxton gets out of the way. King, King Jack third. I have less. And Elias in great shape to possibly double up. Sixteen point nine million in there. O'Donnell loses this. He'll be down to five big blinds. Listen. If Elias loses this, That's we'll be heads up. It's oh, wow. What a juicy flop. Queen 10 7. Elias has the ace of clubs. O'Donnell open ended. Ace high still good. And ace high is still good. You see the outs for O'Donnell. He's looking for an ace or a nine. Oh, it's the ace. Oh, wow. Wow. And the O'Donnell crowd goes crazy. And O'Donnell really showing some emotion there for the first time. Darren Elias is, getting is knocked floor, out by the ace on the river, around the river. Floor, anywhere. All in. All in. Oh. There's the all in. There's the call. Oh, you got this. Oh. <laughs> ace 10, ace jack. He's got ace jack. Haxton, possibly five cards away from his first ever World Series of Poker bracelet. O'Donnell setting the trap there, but he was trapped himself. Really just a hand that plays itself, though. Ace-10, ace-jack, just 22 big blinds deep. Yeah. And a 10 on the flop. Real. O'Donnell takes the lead. Not so quick. Oh, Spicy. never easy. Red paint is exciting. Haxton looking for a king or a jack to close it out. Otherwise, <laughs> we're back to even. Yeah, the red, the red queen of hearts is quite nice. <laughs> The oh. river's a jack! Good game. Good game. Pleasure to play with you. Well, Isaac, here it is, and that belongs to you, your Indeed. first World Series of Poker bracelet. What does this win mean to you? Feels pretty good, man. I mean, hard to do better than winning the tournament. Uh, yeah. It's an excellent point. When you come in as chip leader, sometimes it's not smooth sailing. You even fell to the it, shortest stack. How would you describe it? It certainly this wasn't this time, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, tough table. People were playing aggressive. I had to take some spots. I got in bad a few times. I lost some of them and won others, and you know. I think it's time for me to just hand you this. <laughs> that sound right. good? After your entire career, it's my honor to present you with your very first World Series of Poker bracelet. Thank you can you cross very you much. off that list of best players to have never won a bracelet. Hold it up to that camera, or just put it on. You know, it's, yeah, it's your choice to your bracelet. Let's, How about a round of applause this for Isaac Haxton? There we go. Yeah. All right, so no, I think I'll just hold it up. I'm not sure how to put it on. Ike Haxton, 25K high roller champion. Gets it done. Amazing stuff. Thank you, Jeff.
And uh, yeah, 301 players started this journey. And uh, Ike Haxton is the only one standing when it's all said and done, Brent. Well, listen, you know, the kind of year he's been having, Tuck. No surprise, Isaac Haxton gets it done today. Make sure you join us for tomorrow. Lon and Maria Ho in the booth for the 2500. I want to thank all of you for joining us here. I am David Tuckman for Jeff Platt, for Brent Hanks, for everybody here at the World Series of Poker. Thank you for watching it. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.